he is the one who made me fall in love with boxing. Um, like I've, like most of you will know, I've been a, a lifelong martial artist, but never really been into the sport of boxing until probably about three or four years ago when I started watching AJ's rise through the ranks to become the heavyweight champion of the world. His boxing style, his charisma, everything around him. He's been, he's been voted the most marketable athlete in the world uh, once, maybe on two separate occasions. But for me, he is the complete package, right? He is a very technically gifted boxer, contrary to what a lot of people are thinking because of uh, his comparison to Tyson Fury. But he's a technically, technically gifted boxer. He is a clever boxer. He has high fight IQ. He is an athlete of note, right? He's an Olympic gold medalist. And, and he has knockout power. <laughs> yeah. So for me, he's got them arms. If you're a technically gifted boxer and you pair that <clears> with <throat> having ridiculous one punch knockout power and knockout artistry, for me, that's the complete package, hmm. right? So I'm loyal to him by virtue of the fact that, you know, he, he is the guy who made me fall in love with boxing and you know, I think a lot of people are sleeping on AJ because of his loss to uh, Andy Ruiz. Up mm. until then, he was the, the next best thing. He was the mm. biggest thing in boxing. Everyone loved him. Um, everyone wanted to see him do well. And after he lost to Andy, Andy Ruiz, people started hating on AJ and, and people started doubting his ability in a big, big way. Um, you know, he came but back he, to he beat Ruiz look, in boxing. Yeah, he, didn't he, look, he outboxed yeah. Ruiz. Yeah. So, so that's the one. That's the one side of things. The other side of things is, to me, Tyson Fury is a better boxer. If you th if you think of, if you talk about the sweet science of boxing, if you talk about the technicalities of the sport, the intricacies of the sport, there is no better boxer in the world today, in the heavyweight division, let's say, than Tyson Fury. Um, mm. He he is he is a freak of nature. The way that he moves, the the fight IQ that he has. The speed that he has as a heavyweight it's is crazy. uncanny, and it shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> yeah, with that, with that, right? with that, with that body, it doesn't make any sense the way he moves, for sure. No, and so, 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 all of the things that he has, and he's also got a ridiculously high fight IQ. Mm -hmm. now, he is a, an incredibly intelligent and talented fighter, and that's what makes this matchup so incredible. Like yeah. I've been thinking about it for the last year and a half since these talks, since Tyson Fury made his ridiculous comeback. If you don't know who Tyson Fury is and his story, what his story is, it's too. There's too much to get into it on this podcast. Hasn't, Go and watch the documentary. Hasn't he got an episode? Hasn't he got an episode? Hasn't he got a uh, a podcast with Joe Rogan? I think he's, he has. I think he's on a couple of episodes, and he's yeah. fascinating to listen yeah. to. Yeah, he's so got so an so incredible so story. 